Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush back at it with Darksiders 3 gameplay on PC running on a GTX 1080. Now, this game was released yesterday. Not a lot of people are talking about it. It's the latest game in a franchise that I really, really dug, so I personally was looking forward to it. However, let's be honest here. This game is not going to be worth a $59.99 price point. Not only because I don't think the game really warrants that price, but also because I very well could see this game commercially bombing, and it could be in the bargain bin within a month or two. Look at what happened with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and I feel like a very similar scenario is going to happen here. Look at what is happening with Battlefield 5. That game is already 50% off. Look at what happened with Fallout 76. That's all I'm saying, but I did want to bring you guys some gameplay of Darksiders 3, and the gameplay itself is a ton of fun. However, with the 1080 at 4K and completely maxed out, the frame rate was a little bit choppy. I mean, I dropped to 13 frames per second during a cutscene, but normal frame rate was around 30 to 40. If you want a smooth 60 frames per second, you probably either want to play at a lower resolution with a 1080, or you do want to drop the settings a little bit. It. But again, gameplay itself is a lot of fun, but I'm 99% sure this is going to hit the bargain bin rather quickly. So if I were you and you're tight on money and you're really picky and choosy about what games you pick up, Darksiders 3, I would say, is one you wait on. And very well, even by the winter sale, I could see Darksiders 3 having a significant discount by then. So just keep that in mind before you pick the game up yourself. As always, Steam does have a refund policy. So if you do want to play the game within that two hour window, see how you like it. And then you can just refund it from there if it doesn't really please you. That is always an option, but I'll let you guys enjoy the gameplay let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out A haven for what? Vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here? I... I know not but what the Council commands, mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here. Envy. Mine! Humans! Haven! Everything here! <laughs> mine! Move on, horsemen, or ye be mine too! <laughs> I'm on a mission. <laughs> Protecting humans? Humans think creation favors them. They are apes, crawling through dirt. <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. Oh! <laughs> 
pretty. Come and get it. Ah, that's mine! supposed to catch envy I did this talisman it's a vessel. Envy used it to hold. I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. Finding envy was easy enough. That was a gift. One I would not count on receiving twice. Envy was also by far the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both heaven and hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environs. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps. But you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. I knew that war would one day unleash all this, but seeing it, his gifts are impressive. May I admire your success? You have no Thank <laughs> you. 